of the Royal London one over challenge entries are now in and it's time to choose who will bowl that one over against NASA on July the 7th. An incredible amount of you sent your videos and there have been some truly original entries, some with amazing technique and definitely unique flair. The judges have whittled down all the entries and we have had the very difficult job of analysing the final five and choosing the winner. So, Nasa, let's reveal our final five and the winner. Wasib Marouf is first up. It was a good delivery. If you run that on, you see it going across the right-hander. Good run-up, good high action. That's an absolute beauty. Look at the batsman's reaction at the other end as well. He's going like that. No shame in getting in a number five. You would have been higher if you could just swing it back in to the right hand. The left armers are so good if they can swing it back in. I feel like Chaminda Vass used to do to you all exactly. those years ago. <laughs> Ramsey Morsey then, he is at number four, playing in a game. This is what he did. Yeah, I think this is a slower ball. I'm hoping it's a slower ball. I hope he's got an extra yard <laughs> in pace there somewhere. Wonderful catch. He's obviously never taken a court and bowl before. Look at the reaction. Look at the lad from mid-wicket running in with the black trainers on as well. This is proper club cricket. This is what I love about club cricket. Yeah, Over-the-top totally. celebration for a court him. and bowl. You didn't want to face a dibbly-dobbly and get yeah, out to him. That's that was exactly proper what Chiminda happened. Vass, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, then, Aidan Biddle. Oh, I enjoy this one. He's very unassuming, Aidan, playing in a game as well, headband warrior, and see if you can figure out who he looks like. Well, the run-up is very stuttery and he has copied, obviously, the number one bowler in white ball cricket in the world, Jasper Bumrah. I mean, the celebration is fairly low-key. I'm loving the barnet, I'm loving everything he's doing with his hair, but the best bit is the stuttery run-up, especially when you do it in slow-mo. <laughs> it's really stuttery. It takes it... a long, yeah. long yeah. time. <laughs> And eventually he gets there. That's a good high action, isn't it? I think if there had been just a little bit more in the celebration and in the appeal, he'd be higher up, but a really good action. And also, you think the hair's going to be a distraction? You the get hair for me, looking at someone running yeah. with that much hair. It's <laughs> like working with you, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, Joe Ashdown, our first spinner. And uh, he is in second place. Didn't fancy a spinner, Nass? I did fancy a spinner. When I came in today, I said, I'm going to go for spin for obvious reasons, but that spin is too good for me. Anyone who can drift it away and then spin it in, I mean, that's like Graham Swan. That is outstanding. If you replay that, and this, I'm going to test your telestration skills here. Can you get a bit of drift on there? Show me your best drift. That is perfection. <laughs> oh, I do, yeah. That is, I mean, that is exactly what happened. If you now roll that on, it drifts away there and then spins in, hits top of off. Now, you're asking Unplayable. why not number one, then, if it's the best delivery? A, it would be too good for me. B, if you bowl like that, you've got to be semi-pro. You've got to be playing academy cricket. So if you're not, you should be getting a contract. Get on the phone, Essex, I'll get you a contract. That's a proper delivery. This is about club cricketers. And I'm going to go, our number one looks like a proper clubby to me. Let's take a look at him, shall we? Our number one is Akib Iqbal. Obviously very passionate, he finds anywhere to play. And here he is in a school playground. But, Nas, you think that he's got an unfair advantage, don't you? There's one or two things I've picked up on here. First of all, random hedge in the background. You're facing a red duke ball, probably about 90 mile an hour. I'd like to see some kind of sight screen behind the bowler's arm. Then what are these sort of random yellow circles, red circles? Has he done his own little Hawkeye analysis? These are just aimless things that are putting the batsman off. Rubbish. Get rid of those. And also, is that 22 yards? Seriously. I mean, that looks like around about 15. So they're the negatives. The reason he wins it is because of this. If you can hit play there, the end result is perfect. Boom. Does it get any better than that? That's proper Wazim Akram style. And Hassan Ali in the celebration. Let's take a look at that again. Well, I think him and Joe were level until the Hassan Ali celebration. We look forward to seeing a few of those celebrations when he bowls at you, Nas. Thanks again to everyone who entered. Look out to see how Akib gets on against NASA on the wicket at Canterbury. NASA, judging by what I've seen, you better get in the nets.